Hi, I'm Moritz, Chief Architect at Edgeless Systems. And today I want to continue our series on attestation and constellation by taking a look at the supply chain security. Specifically, we want to answer the question how we can go from the source code of constellation somewhere on GitHub to verifying the first node, the first node of our constellation cluster. The first thing that happens when we create a new version of Constellation is that our build pipelines will run. And these build pipelines use reproducible builds to create our artifacts, which are the CLI, the command line interface, and our node images. Reproducible means if you build them manually yourself, you will get the exact same image and the exact same CLI bit by bit. And you can thereby verify that they are matching the source code. The CLI will also create the runtime measurements we've seen in a previous video for the image. It will produce them and place them right next to the image. <clears throat> And then it will sign all those artifacts. It will use a signing key, an actual signing key, to create signatures for the image, for the measurements, and for the CLI. And then for the extra bit of supply chain security, it will publish those signatures in a public transparency log. The CLI can then be downloaded directly from the GitHub releases, and the images are stored in a registry somewhere in the cloud. And this is the situation after every constellation release. That means you, as a user, can go ahead, can download the CLI, can verify its signature, can verify that the signature has an entry in the public transparency log, and then you can issue, the, with the CLI, you can issue to create your first constellation node, provision the resources, and the cloud will automatically download the image into your confidential VM and boot that, that first node. Part of the boot process is these measure, measure, uh, runtime measurements that are created and that can be obtained as an attestation st statement by the CLI. And the CLI can obtain the runtime measurements can verify the signature, can also potentially check that the signature has an entry in the transparency log, and can use those runtime measurements that are then trusted to verify the attestation statement. And that concludes the entire chain. You can go from the source code via those reproducible builds, via those signatures, to the first node of our cluster, and can verify, it, um, verify the entire chain. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.